<laughs> Hello, my name is Theo, and I'll be your host for today. Today we have two special guests from different cultures. First, I will be introducing Ryan. Hello, my name is Ryan. This is what me and my culture do for Halloween. We dress up in costumes and pass out candy. Trunk or treat is where you go to a parking lot and kids come and we hand out candy to them. Sometimes we eat pumpkin pie after trick-or-treating. Also, in some early versions of trick-or-treating, men went to door to door and boys often followed, begging for coins. Most of these early trick-or-treaters were poor and actually needed money, but wealthy children also joined in the fun. Door to door was mostly stopped in 1930s, but re-emerged later in the century to distract kids from pulling Halloween pranks. What kind of candy does your culture eat? Well, we eat all kinds of candy like Kit Kats, Snickers, Skittles, and Butterfingers. Well, thank you for having me for today. Thank you, Rain. We'll be back after this commercial break. Welcome back to the Halloween special. Now I welcome Gerald to the show. Hello, my name is Gerald. This is what me and my culture do for Halloween. We have big parades. We call it the Day of the Dead. We paint our faces with white paint and form a skull. And we put hats on. The Day of the Dead is three days long. The parades are super fun. We also have really good food. And we dress up as skeletons. We do this to celebrate the dead. We also have a lot of candy. What kind of candy does your culture eat? Pellin and mango are some of the best candy we have. Something else I know is that the Day of the Dead started more than 3,000 years ago. Another thing is that the Day of the Dead is longer than Halloween by two days. It is October 31st to November 2nd. And the final fact is the main symbols of the Day of the Dead are skulls, butterflies, and flowers. Thank you, Jill. Thank you for everybody that watching. See you next time. <laughs> Ha 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 ha.